Hey Sam, uh, you asked me if I could comment on your Facebook status. I read it, I read all the arguments on it. And um, yeah, uh, the first thing I wanna say Sam is, you cannot, you cannot, um, there is no argument if Jesus is not involved in the argument. There is no argument. If Jesus is not part of the argument, then pro-choice win the argument, hands down, right? And why so? Because uh, with Jesus comes a set of standards, right? And I am of the belief that you cannot force someone who has an encounter Jesus to follow the laws of Jesus. That's it. So am I pro-choice or am I pro-life? I am pro-life. But I'm, uh, I'm of a different sort in the sense of I preach Jesus first. Because knowing that he will be the one to... Because the, the Bible says this. It says it's the goodness of God that makes men or people turn to Jesus. The goodness of God. Not, I don't think, even if that the law, like, even if the law passes, right? I don't think, I don't know if that will help. I, I, I just, just, just bear with me for a second. I don't know if that will help. It would, I feel like it will cause more chaos. And this is why. Why? Because, Whatever way the law goes, right? And a lot of people disagree with me for this. Um, people hate being forced. And God doesn't force people. He doesn't force people to follow. So that's part number one, right? Um, the argument of pro-choice, pro-life... It's not an argument if Jesus is not involved, right? Um, if Jesus is not involved, everybody everybody should be pro-choice, right? If Jesus is involved, then you now talk about now the morals. Okay, let's talk about the morals for a little bit. The morals that come with Jesus, you know, like loving your neighbor as yourself, like love, uh, loving God and God is the only one who can open people's eyes and say hey this is this this is the way to do things and this is my room is a mess i'm just cleaning up my room i should go downstairs and and um change my laundry here um yeah god telling people this is the way how things should be done or god giving the heart to people of how things should be done so i'm recording this one try and i'm not editing it just because, and this might be, I don't want this to be too long, you know, it might be a few minutes, you know, bear with me for a second. Um, so, like I said, I'm, I'm a pro-lifer, but here, here's the thing, though. How do you help people see your view without, <laughs> without, um, Because this is this is what um, I think of pro-lifers. It's like they they really believe that they're trying to do good, right? So how do you help people see the view and see that you're actually trying to help help them and do good and things like that? So you cannot do that. So I'm just gonna set this down. You cannot do that if if they haven't encountered Jesus. That's it. You can't do that. Because if they haven't encountered Jesus, then all they'll see you as is a villain. You know, someone who is against people making their own choices. Right? So that's my first thought. And, um, yeah. Yeah.